As you might know, we have a new Miss California. Jasmine Avalos now holds the crown for the Golden State. But have you ever wondered how the winner is determined? Gabe Salazar is here to explain all the numbers. Yeah, that's right, Emily. There are a lot more numbers involved than people may think. So because of that, we put together a complete comprehensive guide showing you how the new Miss California is crowned and what it takes to prepare. There are 31 candidates in all ages 20 to 25. They were divided into two groups. What you normally don't see is a preliminary competition being held to find out who the top 11 contestants are. And this is what happens during the prelims. A 10 minute press conference style interview is held with the judges worth 35%. Then they are interviewed to talk about the social impact initiatives they are a part of. This is worth 14%. Then they show off their unique talents, which amounts to 35%. And finally, they dress to impress in the red carpet evening wear portion worth 15%. Now, based on these results, the top 10 semifinalists are chosen plus one People's Choice winner from online voting. Judges assign each of the top 11 a composite score based on everything observed during the competitions and interviews. And this score is carried over to the finals that amounts to a hefty 40%. Finally, on the big night, the top 11 compete again in an on-stage interview worth 10%, talent portion worth 30%, and the red carpet evening wear worth 20%. As the competition nears the end, the top 5 is chosen. This crucial part of the competition is a conversation with the judges, including a pitch from each candidate for her social impact initiative, plus one question related to the requirements of the job of Miss California. The judges rank the final contestants based on their responses, and finally, a winner is decided. Did you get all of that? Okay, that was a lot of numbers. <laughs> that was a lot of yeah. numbers, and there's, there's essentially, it sounds like, two portions? You know what yeah, I mean? so there's a preliminary competition, and that's pretty yes. much to get to the top 11, yeah. uh, where they then do the press uh, conference style interviews with the judges. So that's basically uh, what we're accustomed to seeing when we see it yes. on TV. Yes. So, so they do more. it, and then they do it like all over again. Yeah. But you actually have you have a whole bunch of footage. We were there yeah. all week at the Miss California pageant, and you're doing some web exclusives with some never before seen stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So our cameras were rolling as uh, they did the preliminary interview interviews with the judges so this typically is behind closed doors but I mean just listening to some of the questions and the answers you would not think it would be that difficult to prepare for the competition they asked some pretty tough uh, questions what are you finding that's most surprising about the contestants it's just like what the questions uh, that the judges ask reveal about themselves right, so right sometimes it can take a whole new direction and it just reveals something else about the contestant that you normally wouldn't know uh, just by listening to them reveal their social impact initiative. Sure, and I think, um, you know, I loved my conversation. We had Jasmine on the show earlier this week, but I, you look at a pageant um, contestant, you look at a pageant queen, you might think, you know, one thing, and then they start talking about yeah. social justice and what's going on in the world and what's going on in their lives and why they picked their certain social impact cause, yeah. and you, you find something totally different, and it's, I think it's really cool. Yeah, and as, as they all say, it's not just a beauty competition, yeah. there's also that um, that other side to it as well. And as we all know, speaking sometimes can be really right, hard. Yes. So it truly is a talent. <laughs> Gabe, you can find all of his stories online at yourcentralvalley.com and stay with us because we have more Central Valley today when we come back.